Coming up on Cultural Capital, we talk to the artist Hugh Locke about his epic new Tate Britain commission, The Procession. We're peeking into a king's personal diary in Thing of the Week, and I review Ruth Wilson's understated new film, True Things. The artist Hugh Locke has been thinking about ideas of empire, nationhood, monument and identity for the best part of 30 years. Now the mainstream discourse has finally caught up. We went down to Tate Britain to talk to him about his new commission there, his biggest and most ambitious work to date. So what we've got are about 130 figures, adults and children figures. A lot of them made of, uh, of cardboard, some of them made of mannequins. They're all moving in a direction, they're all heading in a direction, but we don't know where they're going to. Um, I sometimes think they're coming from the past into the future, sometimes going for, coming from the present into the future, looking at the past. <laughs> it's a bit complicated. It's history, but it's all the messy, messinesses of history. It's how history affects us today. It's about, it is definitely about today. It's definitely about how did we get here. The whole thing is a colossal collage, basically. All clashing together, sometimes agreeing with each other, sometimes fighting with each other, sometimes things I have complicated issues with. No, this is concrete. It's real. It's there. And I like it, you know. I hope that people will think a bit more, you know, about, um, about history. And all this stuff we're talking about, politics this and politics that and identity is not, it's all, forget about all that. It's just about something you can appreciate visually. That's the point. I'm, I'm not a politician, I'm not a philosopher or anything, I'm an artist, you know? And that's what this is all about. I don't know about you, but I love a bit of fancy stationery. Every year I covet one of those leather-bound Smithson diaries, and every year I balk at the price. But they've got nothing on our new thing of the week. This object was presented to the King Louis XV of France in 1742. It's an adjustable almanac, so a calendar, and it helps to tell the date of the week, the day of the calendar month, even the sign of the zodiac under which that calendar month falls into. This object has an inscription dedicated to the King Louis XV, and this inscription lies beneath the arms of France, the three fleur de lis with the royal crown. It is beautifully made, and it also tells us about the love for luxury items and incredible craftsmanship that we see all along the 18th century. Now, it's a 60-second film review. This small-scale film from Harry Woodliffe is the latest in a recent run of stories about aimless women unable to work out what they're doing with their lives. It stars Ruth Wilson as Kate, emotionally isolated, disaffected, failing spectacularly at her thankless job at the benefits office. One day, she meets a walking red flag, played by Tom Burke, and very quickly falls into a relationship of sorts. Burke is developing an alarmingly convincing line in charming, gaslighting bastards, and Ruth Wilson here, hiding her considerable light under a bushel of ugly cardigans and lank hair, gives a masterclass in expressive economy. Her tiny but visceral reaction when he brushes a strand of hair from her face tells you everything you need to know about how long it is since Kate felt genuine affection and how vulnerable she's going to prove. Like her exasperated work colleague, you can't believe how reckless she's being, but at the same time she makes you understand exactly why she's making these terrible decisions. It's not completely satisfying. You're essentially watching a woman strenuously ignoring all the neon flashing bad signs due to sheer loneliness. But it's done with compassion and thankfully there's no violence, although sometimes you do feel the threat of it. It's a small story, but Wilson alone makes it worth a watch. For more great stuff to see and do in the capital, follow Evening Standard on TikTok and ES Culture on Instagram. Have a great weekend.